Hey, this is the second tutorial in the series and uh, here I will show you how you import your fill image and uh, where to put it so you can uh, start making double exposure settings. So uh, we again go to my footage and uh, my fill folder and again for importing your own fill image press uh, uh, Ctrl I or a Mac Command I and we navigate to to uh, to the folder where your fill image is mine is here so this one press open and here it is now you have to place it in the fill placeholder of the scene you are making so we are making scene 30 uh, and we go open fill placeholder 30 in the folder and drag your fill image here. Again, uh, you have to place, uh, uh, make the adjustments to position and scale and uh, rotation if you need to here in fill placeholder. This is the best place to do it. So um, we need to see how it fits in so inside our foreground. Otherwise, uh, we can't know how to position it. So for doing that. Uh, we go to um, we go to empty scene folder, and here is a scene thirty base composition. This base uh, composition is in every scene, and you can also use the final, but we will use the base now. And when it's open, uh, click on this uh, small uh, lock icon, uh, then it closes. Uh, locks this uh, composition view like that and then you can go to new comp viewer and it will open another window so uh, if we go to the some other composition you can see it holds the scene base view here and we can see our changes updating therefore it's the best way to work in uh, parallel compositions or pre-comps now we can make the Position scale changes and the rotation, and we'll make some rotation here a bit smaller so it fits with the hairline. And of course, uh, I have tried this uh, photo before, but uh, if you don't know uh, what your um, what you're making yet, or you're just uh, playing around and trying to find something, then uh, this is a good way to do it. The fill is revealed 100% inside the foreground. You can uh, go and change uh, the settings also to view it differently. I will show this in the next uh, tutorial, but for now, uh, you can you know try different fill images here, drag just some more here. And of course, you can always use uh, uh, any of the uh, footages included with this package. We have only uh, over 200 fill images photos and uh, 18 videos uh, with the package. So it's placed here, fill images. If you open it, you can see there are several folders by theme. They are arranged by theme, so it's easier to look for. And you can try it out. It gives a... Uh, really interesting results you know, using different imagery. Okay, now let's say this is your fill and you have placed it. Uh, so next thing is to make the settings to the double exposure. Uh, how much of the foreground we will show and how much of the fill.